Hi, and welcome back to LinuxStudyGuides.com videos. Today, I kind of want to just go over man pages and info pages. Um, man stands for manual, so if you have a question about a command, you're not sure about something, you forgot how to type some part of it, man pages and info pages can give you those answers. Um, let's go ahead and start with the ls command that we're familiar with. Um, we know what it does, it does all that, but there's so many other parts of the ls command. So if we type man ls, we'll see all these descriptions of the command and all the other commands that go with it. So like the dash a we saw in our other video um, shows that anything with the period which is system files. Um, there's the b ignore backups and I mean the l um, which shows a long version and we'll try that out. But the man page basically shows everything that has to do with that. Now the difference between the man page and the info page you'll see in a little bit but man pages are the old version of how we used to find um, information about commands or programs inside Linux. Um, the way you search through man is just like we do in VI. Um, we actually hit that and you just type what you want to search for like we'll search for long and it is case sensitive as well and it's just um, N and shift N to get at go forward and back just like it is in VI and Q to quit out. So man ls we'll see that it let's look at that long because we know we want to look at that up and and it uses a long format. So that's all it tells us. So it's not very descriptive. So let's go ahead and check out ls-l. So that's what ls-l is. So we still have all the same files that we saw before with just a basic ls command. But we also see um, the security information, who's the owners, and the last time editing it, and a bunch of more information that's really good for us. So in return, let's go ahead and look at the info page of the LS and check out the difference. So as you can already see, there's pretty huge difference. More, more. The main thing is it's really explained well. There's a lot more content in it. Um, all the, not just the the base description is explained well, but the commands as well. I mean, so let's go back to the L. Remember, it just said shows a long L. Here it is, right here. Boom. And, I mean, look at the description base from that, and the man page is just insane. Now you can also search with inside the info page as well, but it's actually use Control S. And you'll see this little deal pop up when you do that. And you just type what you're searching for. Um, and to go forward you just hit control S and to get out you hit just hit control G and then that's that's how you get out of that. <laughs> to exit you just hit Q. So that's how you get out of the info page. Um, now say you don't really know what command you're looking for but you know it has to do with um, let's say the trace route. You want to run the trace route which is different on a Linux computer than it is on Windows. In Windows it's just trace RT. But on Linux, since we don't know what it is, we type in man dash k trace. And we can look up all these trace route commands. Anything that has the word trace in its command or in the description of the command is popped up for us. And we see that they have trace path, trace route, um, fully spelled. I mean there's all these different commands of trace and you can try them out. Um, these are just different versions. But trace path is usually what I use. And that's how you go ahead and look up commands. I mean, it works for tons of things. Let's see, man dash k jpeg. Let's try that. Oh, there's two things that do jpegs. So, boom, library for reading and writing to jpeg image files. Cool, awesome. And that's just the basis of how you do man pages and info pages and how you work within them. So, I hope this video was informative, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.